that song that I was born to know. Who knows? Frankie Smith on the ball. This man got his name. while back my engine started developing a tick when I got on the gas pretty hard and I found out why it was ticking this push rod and rocker is loose so need to make sure when I put the new ones on that the valve lash is adjusted and tight all right well, that's all. Pull this cylinder head and look what I found. This is the reason why the push rod was ticking. The valve wasn't seating all the way, causing the rocker not to move fully up on the valve side, which causes not to compress on the push rod as the lifter was going down. And that's why it was ticking. That can't be good. That was that's cylinder number one. So that's going to be awesome when I put a new cylinder head on there and I'll have all cylinders going. And this is the first cylinder head I pulled. So we'll see what we find when we pull the other cylinder head. Now take a look at this. Look at these chunks missing right here from this valve. You know, this valve is hosed because of this ring I think it's the valve seat um, but it's causing it to not seat all the way and I believe this is the exhaust the exhaust valve uh, possibly not that might be the uh, intake valve can't wait to put those GT40s on there boy that's gonna be awesome all right, I need to go to sleep. Good night, y'all. So it turns out that my harmonic balancer and the timing marks on it are correct. There's number one cylinder right at the top. Sounds good. Hey y'all, little update on my uh, GT40 head swap. Got the 302 OEM heads swapped out yesterday. Got the GT40 head on there. And I got these heads with the, these uh, Scorpion 1.6 ratio roller rockers. They're beautiful. And they came also with these guide plates and these push rods. These push rods are 6.450 inch long and it turns out that these are too short for my build. Even at the, the highest level when they're pushing on the rocker they're too short, way too short. About They're about half an inch, half an inch short. This should be right about there actually. You should measure from this one. And they should be about that's the difference that it should be from 
where the top of this push rod is. And it should be touching that rocker. So what I gotta do is get a what's called a push rod length checker tool and you're able to adjust it with threads. It's, a, it's like a push rod but with threads in it and you can unthread it. And you stick it in there and adjust and for the correct length and then take it out and measure it and then that will tell you what your length should be. Hey y'all! Uh, went to Summit and got this uh, push rod length checker tool. Basically this thing, uh, you can make it shorter or longer by turning this uh, side, or either one, it's threaded, it's a threaded push rod, and uh, you can twist it to length, and then stick it in, you stick it in your where your push rods go, just like that, and then uh, if now you gotta turn the engine by hand and uh, position the, the lifters where it needs to go. I won't get into that, but um, and then you stick your lifter on here. And then you gotta um, check for geometry, and then you gotta tighten this up to where your push rod doesn't. Um, Jiggle up and down as soon as it stops. Jiggling up and down. Give this a quarter turn. And then you crank you crank the engine over and then see where it is contacting the edge of your valve. And basically, um, my push rod length comes to 6.950 inches. And they are on order, and I will pick them up on Thursday from Summit Racing. Alright guys, check it out. Just picked it up from Summit Racing. Comp cams, push, push rods. 6.950 inch. So let's get to it.